Back to McConnell v. v. Scott. Is it helpful when Republicans are bickering with, with each other, Mark? Well, Mike, I, I don't think it is, but I'm not sure that a lot of Americans can concentrate on that. I think that in 65 days, we're going to have a decisive victory if we're talking about crime in Joe Biden's America. If we're talking about a crisis at the border, 200,000 illegals crossing every month. If we're talking about inflation, if we're talking about the reality that we're going into a deeper recession and will be by November. If instead we're talking about taking AOC talking points about defunding law enforcement or pardoning criminals, then that's going to get us off message. And we're talking about Joe Biden, which I think he did with that terrible speech of the night that certainly was political. And I think certainly, you know, in my mind, re remembers the notion of Hillary Clinton calling millions and millions of Trump Pence supporters deplorables. That, in essence, is what he's done again by calling us semi fascists. And I think that's going to rally a lot of Republicans in November. Do you think he'll be forced to apologize for the semi-fascist comment? Whether he apologizes or not, I think it's a rallying cry. And I think that um, Republicans are going to have a decisive victory in 65 days if we're talking about Joe Biden. And what his speech did is it put him right back in the center of the debate to make it a referendum on Joe Biden.